Hi, I'm Nick Poole, I'm Research Coordinator for FAR. I've been working in disease management research in Australia for the last eight years and today's vodcast is part of the GRDC High Rainfall Zone Communication Programme. I was talking in earlier recording sessions about the value of the correct fungicide timing for diseases such as stripe rust and stem rust. But one of the things we shouldn't forget within the disease management um, strategies and scenarios is the value of genetic resistance. One of the things that we frequently see is that, that genetic resistance is of great value to you in those strategies. We had a trial in the southeast of Victoria last year where a range of varieties were actually infected with stem rust at the time of fungicide application. The application was applied at the doughy ripe stage. Infection was already well established. In those circumstances, fungicides gave us very little benefit and as a consequence no yield response and no economic response to them. The most notable aspect of the trial though was the difference between the different cultivars. We had some cultivars that had as little as 2% infection and others with infection levels of 80 and 90%. This graphically illustrated that whilst fungicides have a place against a disease such as stem rust, in situations where the disease gets out of hand, it's genetic resistance that actually will win through. So make a note of your genetic resistance of your key varieties on farm.